Hello and welcome to another Glen Maney Does Art. It's a quick one today, but I've just spotted a, a couple of little ones. First one, it's not great, but just but something just tickled me about it. Um, it's a woman, obviously, in, erotic, in, an, in an erotic position. Um, she's got her legs wide open. Um, looks like she's got one hand down her panties. Big smile on her face. It's obviously, I don't know why she's smiling. I don't know if it's because she's touching herself or because she's always wanted a nice bright blue sofa. But uh, she looks pretty happy, doesn't she? And uh, a few things uh, about, well, lots of things about it. But a few things that I picked up on are um, she's, got, she's got black eyes. Now, I don't know whether she's been posing for days for this... Uh, for this painting without lack of sleep or if it's just because she's been touching herself for days she might think oh i'm not going to sleep not when i'm enjoying life this much because i say she is smiling she's got a, a lovely smile even if she hasn't got a nose the the smiles uh the smile's lovely got five fingers on one hand which is excellent we don't know how many fingers she's got on the other hand that that, that stuff down her pant is that I'll, I'll be honest about it um no belly button either, but uh, we'll we'll go we'll go with the assumption that she's human and that she she was uh, she was born, and uh, she's got very thin arms, very thin arms. You have a look, and I'm just thinking, well, she's been exploited. Let's be honest, she's been exploited for the uh, for the actual painting. But I don't I don't think you know if, if it, let's say it's her husband that painted it, um, she'll get her own back because. Um, if he if he wanted her to take a turn with the the cooking, or uh, he wanted her to take a turn with the cleaning, she would say, "What with these arms? You're having a laugh at you." I couldn't I couldn't even hold up a you know I struggle with a knife and fork, let alone anything else. So uh, she's probably got quite a nice life. He's probably doing the cleaning and the washing and uh, and the hoovering while she's literally sat there touching herself. So yeah, she just uh, she's not got a bad life really. Just sat there touching her lady part in front of the settee that she's uh, that she's always wanted. That nice bright blue one that lights up the room. She also looks a little bit like Les Dawson. You know, obviously Les Dawson had a nose, but uh, a little bit like Les there for for the older viewers there. You know, who Les is and just have a look. Have a look at a picture of Les on Google and then go they go back to her. So that was the first one out of the way. The second one um, that, that I've chosen, I don't really know what's going on there. It's um, it's someone with a with a penis growing out of their chin, by the looks of it, and a uh, few other few other things I've picked up on. I mean, I mean, when someone's gone to the trouble of drawing or painting someone with a penis growing out of their chin, I don't suppose it, it, it's right that you should expect everything else to be. Um, anatomically right but I, I have noticed that uh, she he or it has got five fingers on one hand and six fingers on the other but i suppose you know if you've, if you've got a if you've got a cock growing out your chin then uh, the amount of fingers you've got on each hand is uh, is not really what you call a disability is it again the elbows aren't very defined either quite Quite rounded, ill. No, no joints. No joints. So six fingers on one hand, five on the other. No joints. In a bit of a bad way. And if you, you're just thinking, oh, I've got no joints in my arms. I, I've got, I've got six fingers on on one hand and five on the other. I'm going to be lousy um, on a on a on a dating site. And uh, and then you realise, oh God, could it get any worse? Yeah, it could. I've got a penis growing out my chin. So yeah, I don't know what goes through your head when you draw something like this, um, but uh, I'm just hoping, beyond all hope, that it's not a self-portrait, you know, um, because a poor person. That's it from today. Well, I hope you've enjoyed another Glen Money Does Art, and uh, and let me know if you ca want me to carry on doing these. I do. I well, don't have to let me know really, because I probably will do. Uh, I get bored during the lockdown, and that's it. You're getting some more Glen Money Does Art. But thanks for those that do watch the channel and uh, I shall be back with you soon. Stay safe.